But if we wanted to add a little bit of tension to our five chord, when we go back to the one chord, we can add what are known as the altered tones. And those tones are the flat five, the sharp five, the flat nine, and the sharp nine. And once again, you can find that one. Uh, so we'll think of this because it happens. These, uh, this is meant to happen over a dominant seven chord. So we're in the key of C, but we're thinking about our G7 chord. One, two, three, four. Well, there's the five. So our flat five note, that's going to be just a half step down from the five. Our sharp five is just going to be a half step up. Or the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A is our ninth. So the flat nine is going to be just a half step down. A flat. The sharp nine is going to be a half step up. So just a few examples I put here for you. G7 flat nine, which resolves nicely to C major seven. Compare it to just the G7. This just, you get that half step from the flat nine going to the C. Or sharp nine. We often think of this as the Hendrix chord. And once again, this is a chord that sort of our ears have adapted to hearing as sort of a static thing. 